all right here we go what's going on guys it's shabby right now i'm going to show you how to install discord ace perms and badgers discord api as well as set up a bot through your discord developer portal to a server and set up your uh principal inheritance for your ace perms as well so you can link groups together such you have to do less work in the future for your server now for me i'm going to go ahead and set this up as if i were doing this for some sort of role play experiment or role play server of course you can use this in any way that you see it useful so what you're going to do first is make sure that you have your discord server set up and whatnot so here i've just made a server with a couple channels and i've given myself two roles on this server that's group admin and group moderator now both of these roles uh, are the only two that i'm going to be using but of course you can use any roles that you would like to you can use anything that you'd really like to feel free to make this as personalized to you as you can um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you my way of doing this. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Google and I'm going to open my Discord developer portal to my Discord bot. So this will not already be done for you. You'll have to create a new application and then inside of your application create a bot. It'll say build a bot. You can do this all in a matter of seconds. I'll go ahead and leave the link to the Discord developer portal in the description of the video so that it's as easy as possible for you. And what you're going to want to do here is once you've created your bot, you're going to need this token. Um, so go ahead and keep this around for later. And then you're going to want to go ahead and invite the bot to your server. And the way you do that is by going to OAuth2, going to URL generator, and hitting bot. And then generating the URL and opening it in a new, in a new tab and hitting enter. And then, of course, adding it to your server. So I'm going to add it to my test server and ensure that I'm a human because Discord is weird. And there you go. Now your bot is in your server. You don't really have to do anything other than that. Your bot might have a role um, that you want to assign it to. Of course, do your own thing with that. And the next thing you want to do is install both Badger's Discord API and Badger's Discord Aceperm script. So what you can do is go ahead and download both of these as a zip and put them to your desktop or wherever else you see fit. I'm just going to go ahead and put them on my desktop for now. And of course, you can do this wherever you need to based on your server. I will also leave the links to both Badger's Discord API and his Discord Aceperm script in the description as well so that it's easy to access for you. And once you've done that, you don't really need those anymore, but do keep the Discord developer portal open because you will need to copy your token later on in the video or later on in your situation. So now that you have both of these here, you can go and open both of them and drag them to your desktop or extract them to your desktop. And then right here, what I'm going to do is take out these after uh, bits for dash main and dash master. So you're going to need to take both of those out. It's mandatory that you do this because the way that Badger built his scripts um, or the way that Badger built this script specifically was through exports that specifically go to Badger Discord API and not Badger Discord API dash main. So once you've taken it out, you can go ahead and go to the config file inside of his API script, which is the first thing we're going to configure. And here you can set the guild ID, the bot tokens, a role list if you need to, and your splash or your or your header when you're connecting to your server. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and just disable the header because I don't like it, as well as set my guild ID and my bot token. Now you can set a role list if you need to. Of course, you can go in and look at the API and figure out how to do that. For me, I personally don't use it or have never used it in the past, so I will not be setting up my role list. Of course, that's something you can do on your own time. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the role list just as it is. You can configure the splash header as you'd like to. I'm going to go ahead and set it to false because I don't like it. And here's where that bot token comes into effect. So you're going to want to go back to Google and copy your token. Go back to wherever you're editing your code out of and paste it in between there. Now, of course, this bot token is just mine. I'm going to delete it right after I'm done with the video. If you are doing this for your server, I wouldn't show this to anybody because this is something that if it's leaked can, of course, give anybody access to your bot, which is not good because then they can do all sorts of things that you really don't want them to do. Um, 
malicious wise um so of course only give out your bot token to people who are trusted but once you've just done those two things you're pretty much good to go on there there's not much else that you have to edit so you can go ahead and close out of badger's discord api and you can go to his ace perms so now that you're in his ace perms you can go ahead and go to the config folder there or the config file there you can set a server name if you'd like to a discord link and a website link now these aren't actually seen by anybody um, unless you're really digging for it, so you don't really have to worry about it too much. Of course, set it if you'd like to. I'm going to go ahead and leave it because this is just an example of how to set it up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of four out of the six roles that are here because I only have four roles on my server. And of course, you can go ahead and configure it however you have to. So if you have multiple roles on your server, by all means, put multiple roles in here. It's really up to what you're doing. For me, I'm only going to be using group.moderator and group.admin because those are the default aces that I put into my Discord on my roles. Now, the role do uh, the roles do not have to be named group.admin or group.moderator or whatever the group is. You can name the role owner if you're the owner of a server. It really doesn't matter. You can do whatever you'd like to with it um, so long as you have the role IDs correctly. So what you're going to do real quick is if you haven't already, go to your user settings and you're going to want to enable developer mode, which you can do down here under advanced and select developer mode. Once you've enabled developer mode, you'll be able to right click on your roles and copy an ID. And you're going to want to go ahead and copy each ID to each role and paste it in there. And do that for both of your roles. So now that you've put the ID in for each of your roles, you're done with Discord ace perms. So you can close out of there as well. And now you're going to want to put these both into your server. So we're going to do this in a very specific way. Um, the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to go to my server data. I'm going to go in my resource folder. And I'm going to create a new folder. And this will be a just an organization thing. Of course, you can just put them in your main resource directory if you'd like to. For me, I'm going to be a little bit more neat with it, and I'm going to put them in a Discord-based uh, a Discord based area, so in my Discord folder. And there you go, they're both in there. So now I can go ahead and wipe these from my desktop because I don't need them anymore. And I can go to my server now, into my server CFG. And in here, I can go ahead and enable both of those resources by ensuring them. Now there is one important step here. Actually, there's two important steps. The first step is you need to ensure Badger's Discord API first. This is mandatory. If you don't enable his Badger, uh, his API first, you won't have the code that's necessary to run any of his other scripts. So make sure you ensure his API first. After that, you can ensure his other scripts if you're using any other Discord-based script. Um, so for me, I'm using Discord Ace Perms. And then, of course, before Discord Ace Perms, you are going to need your principles enabled, or your uh, or your resource commands enabled. And the way you can do this is by copying these two lines, which will also be in the description. You can copy and paste these, or you can type them out exactly how they are on screen now. It's just basically allowing discord ace perms to add principles to a user when they join your server and then remove the principle when they leave the server so that it doesn't stick to them um and of course you can technically bypass it without it sometimes it'll work sometimes it won't and it will pop an error in your console uh it'll just say that ace perms was not able to add a principle or to remove a principle when a user joins or leaves um, so make sure you do it just to get rid of any hassles that you might have in the future for not doing it. So once that you've done that, you can go ahead and save your CFG and you are good to go. Your server should be completely set on that. Now the last thing we are going to cover is setting up group inheritance. So the way this works is you have parent groups and child groups. Of course you can read more on this from Bespira uh, who made the vmenu script. He has plenty of information on this on the five and forums which is why i'm not going to cover it too much but what you do know or what i am going to explain to you is essentially you can set up a group to where a parent group gives access to a child group or vice versa and what that will do is say i give the moderator group access to spawn cars and v menu 
well, if I want admins to have or group admin to have that exact same permission without giving group admin that permission. So if I want to say add an ace to group dot moderator or the permission vmenu dot car dot spawner, right, allow. So now moderator will have access to this ace right here, which is vmenu car spawner. What I can do is I can add a principal stating that group admin will inherit the same permissions as group moderator. So group moderator has access to this permission and therefore group admin will inherit it and it will inherit that permission. So they will automatically have it without having to give them access to it. So you can just build onto permissions. Of course, experiment with this and figure out more if you have any questions about it. Um, but that's as far as I'm going to go with inheritance. Now, if you have any questions about anything I covered in the video or I went too fast, be sure to go back and rewatch it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will respond to them as quickly as possible. That's pretty much all for my video here explaining Discord Ace Perms, Discord uh, API, and group inheritance. And have a nice day. Peace.